hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is jenny so guys before i start this video i just want to beg you guys to subscribe to my channel please if you have not subscribed click on that button and subscribe and also click on that notification button so that you'll be getting notification anytime i post a new video um yeah so guys today's video really um is just to you know just you guys what transpired yesterday and today but before i start that i just want to tell you guys that as i'm speaking to you right now queen naomi is inside ilife palace right now chilling with the big boys of the palace chilling with the king chilling with everybody inside our palace like everyone is happy a whole lot of people are happy I myself am very happy like a lot of nigerians a lot of yorubas are happy you know we like them together no matter those side attractions and what am i calling them side attraction side distraction you know no matter them but we love queen naomi you know when she posted that stuff that she posted that day she broke a whole lot of people's hearts including me if you watch my video since that they have been lamenting that the king should do something that they should you know make this thing work out and one thing i i find out during this um particular issue about only of ife and the wife he is like some yorubas are they have double double face I'm sorry to say it if you're Yoruba, I'm not generalizing it. That's why I said some. Can you believe that the same people that was on a particular comment section, do you understand? Saying that she should go. She and her mother did this and did that. You know, did this and did that. They are the same people right now saying that, oh, we are happy that you are back. We love you. We lo did this then another set of people that we are in the comment section you know bashing her telling her you know that she should not come back that her mental health matters this that this this and encouraging her to not to come back those same people are right now at the i don't want to do screenshots you know they are the same people right now saying that ta she's even doing shakara why are they begging her are they petting her to come back that if she don't want to come back she should stay back oh um, double standard double face people everywhere honestly guys i'm shocked and people are even like some people are sad that she's back some nigerians not even only yoruba some nigerians are sad that she's back will i say they're jealous of her or i don't know i don't know how to put it really why will you be sad that a marriage that almost collapsed came back alive wouldn't you be happy like are you a joy killer wouldn't you be happy that the king reconciled with his wife wouldn't you be happy that if your friend your friend that is having problem in her marriage or on in his marriage reconciled with the spouse or the partner wouldn't you be happy like why are people sad that they they reconcile i don't understand some people are saying eh, you know a whole lot of things that has no meaning must you show that you are not happy oh more guys honestly eh, some nigerians eh, hmm, they will push you like this you go like this they will still go back and leave you when you come back again they will say that they didn't tell you to come back let's just be happy that they came back okay fine then what is wrong with this um woman called abike jagaban i think the, the king needs to you know take care of all these people that cause all this quarrel between him and his wife Abike Jagaban is really talking trash about the queen, which is not supposed to be. And he, she happens to be a friend to the king. If you see the way she was, you know, parading herself, like as if she's already packing her bag to go to the palace and live with the king. A, your fellow woman has problem with her marriage. And you are nyam, nyaling dos, abinyaming dos. And you are even still one of the reasons 
you are the husband's side chick. Yeah, you know, even get shame, like no atom of shame. And she came out on social media talking a lot of nasty things about a woman like you. Okay, now she heard that she's back. She's not even happy about it. Now, wow. People, now, honestly, people need to be careful the, the kind of people they deal with. Some people, when you are happy, they will, be, they will not be happy. Some people, when you are sad, they will be happy inside that you are sad. Why, would, why won't anyone be happy that Naomi is back to the husband? I even heard that um, only of his sisters, we are giving Naomi six days to bring, to bring back um, the son. That if she's not interested in the marriage again, that she should bring back the son. Is that what they are supposed to do? Are they not supposed to you know, make sure that their brother's marriage is working out? Imagine the brother has married first, second. This one is a third that wants to leave. Well, for me, I would say maybe because um, they are, they, their only interest is just, you know, what they are getting from their brother. There are some siblings you have. They love you because, um, because of the money and the gift they are getting from you. You know, any other thing partaking in your life is none of their business. The only business they have with you is that time they want money, you know, the thing they are getting from you, you know, that is their main interest. But honestly, this, these are people's mother. Most, all of them are married and, you know, but they came back to, um, to, to, back to the palace. But at least, are they giving an um, award for kings that, um, that are always marrying and divorcing their wives are they not supposed to say oh my god why are all these things happening to my brother why is my brother not happy that why is my brother not happy in times of marriage why is my brother not lucky in times of marriage you make things work out for your brother's marriage not putting more asunder and putting more commandment so if okay them that left their husband's house you know how can you ask a mother to bring back a child when she's still hot? Bring back a child that she carried for nine months. Even though I noticed people saying on one comment section that she need to bring back the child because um, the, the um, Queen Naomi's son is the, is the heir. Is it heir or heir to the throne? Please correct me, oh is h-i-r-e heir to this throne that he was he's not supposed to be raised outside that he was supposed to raise um in his father's house you know and a whole lot of things if please if you know about this culture you can talk you can tell me on the comment section because for me i used to think maybe no matter where they raise the child the child can still come back when it's time to you know to take over the throne what matters is the child being healthy and alive you know it doesn't really matter who raised who whether it's the father or the mother because i've watched a lot of nigerian movies where you know the 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 queen left with the only son and the son will return after so many years to you know to take back what belongs to him that's the throne so I'm, I'm just viewing it in, in times of the Nigerian movies that I used to watch. So don't get me wrong. But what I'm trying to say is we are happy that the queen is back. But this question is still ringing and I saw a lot of people saying it. Is the queen really happy coming back? Why did she left? Would what she left, as in what made her left to be corrected? Would the king change? Do you understand? These are some um, questions that need to ask. Did she come back because the elders of Akure, Akure and the uh, elders of Ife, we are pressurizing her and begging her to come back? I hope she came back happy. I know I am 100% happy that she came back, but I hope she did it um, on her own will, and I hope she will learn her lesson 
not to you know not to be quick in sending message um, or posting something on social media concerning her marriage because i believe this marriage of a thing is between two people and i believe that um apart from if your husband is beating you abusing you you know and all that all these some divorces we are seeing right now today can be you know can they can work it out but just that sometimes we humans this person will say no i won't beg this person will say i won't beg you know that's when you see a lot of marriages a lot of marriages a lot of people are divorcing every day both in nigeria and all over the world especially in nigeria before in the history of nigeria as in divorce record is not much like the way it is right now you see a woman may pack hair like this the husband will say no stop packing your hair like this you know the woman will say i'm going you know something that is not even strong you know so what am i trying to say that people should always try to work their marriage out but when it's the one that involve you maybe when is when the marriage is abusive or is your life is being threatened please walk away but when it's something that you know you guys can work out or talk about it i believe they can just stay and work it out i don't know if i'm making sense i know maybe i might not be making sense but I, you can pick one or two things from what i'm saying you can still pick one or two things from this particular thing this particular issue between Uluri naomi and queen queen naomi and oni of ife because i've I've seen a whole lot of people on Facebook. They'll be going through something in their marriage. They, they would, you know, they would just come to Facebook, write it, and be seeking advice on to anonymous. And you see people giving them wrong advices. And at the end of the day, you will see them maybe later they will make up with their spouse and they'll try to delete the stuff. You know, the deed is already done. Just like Naomi did, the thing she put out there. There is a whole lot of people that don't even know much about the king but so many things she put out there placing the picture the picture the king play you know is few is i don't know if you understand what i mean any before you say something make sure um it's not something you regret tomorrow before you say something to your spouse before you write something before you pin something down make sure it's not something you regret tomorrow make sure you don't go back to your vomit and you start regretting you know all the things that you vomited so please let's just tread with caution let's just wish this couple happiness let's just you know wish them good stop bashing them on the comment section no need um talking down on the king or talking down on the queen or their families you know but the thing there is when we see the truth we say it you can say your truth on the comment section without being abusive you can say that oh maybe she did this she did that not saying that stupid woman or that rubbish woman or this and that or you know all those nasty stuff no it's not nice you can make your point like a reasonable person without being abusive yeah so i hope you no know, i'm talking too much right so guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be getting notification anytime i post a new video thank you so much guys happy new year in advance stay blessed and i love you all